baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we are back for the third time. <laughs> I finally found a dinosaur that actually wants to join us in this battle. I really wish, though, I had tested him out beforehand because I don't know what he's capable of. And I don't think he has a whole lot of torpor or foot fortitude or whatever he wants to call it. But, oh, he doesn't do that much damage. Oh, no. We might lose Rob Zombie today, unfortunately. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. We should have leveled him up a little bit more. Um, we are just going to have to avoid the manticore while it flies around and shoots little spires at us. Um, I'm really not fit for this battle. <laughs> oh, no. So he's got about 100,000 health. We are going to have to somehow wear him down. Um... It's odd, actually. I think I've got better fortitude stats than he does. Run! Oh, he got a hit on us. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, man. I thought this guy was stronger. Dodge him. Good boy. Good boy. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, the thing is, this is just one stage of the battle. There are many, many, many stages of the battle. And I somehow got to get, what, 100 hits on him? I'm assuming roughly. That's about six. I mean, seven. He does have these big old... All right, you know what? Yeah, that's 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 bad news, bears, baby. Oh, that's real bad news. Okay, look at this. We damaged the the, the, the star death worms. They're all good. I don't think little Roberto here, Rob Zombie, a little ghost Rob. I don't think he got what it's uh, yeah. Especially if we keep on like tanking those. This isn't gonna go so well. I should have brought. Oh no. Okay, mistakes were made. If only I had a detox. If I brought a detox with... Actually, what's he got? Oh, there we go. Trouble time. Trouble time, baby. Um, what have you got on your body? Do you have anything of use? Come here, buddy. You got any wake-up potions? You got anything at all? Uh, fills your stamina. Can't consume him. That's human only. Oh, no! Is there anything I can feed him? That'll wake him up. How about some of these? I mean, I'm going to die now. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah, <sighs> it was worth the shot. Uh huh. Guys, guys. Oh no! Wait. Ah, oh, false alarm. I've been looking at the list of dinosaurs that you can actually take. What are you doing here, buddy? Ah, <sighs> I've been looking at dinosaurs that we can actually take. Wait, I can't walk here. There's like an invisible dinosaur or something. I I, I can't walk through this spot. What in the world? <laughs> Okay, I've never seen that before. That's really weird. It's like there's something solid here that I just can't run into. But I've been looking at... Oh, maybe we can take this guy. Ooh. Yeah, anyways. Been looking at the different list of dinosaurs you can take into an arena, okay? It looks like, obviously, you can't take any alpha dinosaurs with you. Um, there's also other certain limitations, like Brontosaurus can't, Deinonychus can't, Diplodocus can't, the Dodo Rex cannot, the Enforcer cannot, uh, Gigas are a definite no, um, everything else just about, Mech, Mega Mech, they're both no's, uh, it looks like flying dinosaurs are only available in the Manticore Arena, but everything else is a big fat ol no. And I'm assuming, yeah, any variants of alpha dinosaur as well. As, 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 oh, wyverns! It says yes to wyverns! What sort of damage do you do, buddy? Um, I think that it is, like, kind of reduced damage as well, though. So we got to keep that in mind. This guy's not crazy strong, but we've got a bit of torpidity. And with a bit of couple extra potions on the side, we should be okay. Our other option is we take a Divino Tyranidino. We take you in there. You got you got a couple levels up your sleeve. Doesn't have a whole lot of health, but I feel like we should be able to evade any attacks with that speed. Um, damage is not is not gonna cut it though, unfortunately. All right. Well, it might it might it may. What have I just landed you on? What is going on with this base? There's just imaginary items in play. I don't get it. I'm so confused. But yeah, you, you have fun up there, buddy. Um, okay. Oh, if I knew we could bring this guy in, he would just destroy everything. Tickle fingers. You're a bit of a beastly dinosaur. Remove leech. Okay. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't realize you had any leeches on you. Now I feel terrible. But tickle fingers might be the answer to our problems. 
Also, I've got no spark powder in here. So this is literally doing nothing. Um, okay. A decision must be made. One of our raptors. I get a feeling all of these guys could come in. I just don't think any of them are going to be strong enough. We got some... I, I'm going to take the wyvern. We're going to take the wyvern. I've got a couple extra artifacts that are waiting. We'll go grab those. We'll grab our extra little talons and we'll be on our... Ooh, what? There's a lot of weird blocks, like, right there. What is going on? There's weird imaginary blocks all around our base. I don't know what is causing them. Weirdest thing in the world. But... We, we don't even need a teleporter console. All I gotta do... Ah, uh, I'll just use it anyways. Okay. Oh, I nearly forgot. We gotta get some of them detoxes, don't we? Uh, I think I'll just bring, like, four of them. If I can't get it done with four of them, then what hope do we have? Well, time for a fourth attempt. <laughs> I hope he can get in. That's the only thing. Like, if he can't, which I'd be very surprised because... The, um, the Wikipedia page, the Arcpedia, the Gamepedia, whatever you want to call it, does say Wyverns are a yes for them only, they can only enter the Manticore Arena, basically. Anything else is a big fat no. So, my fingers are crossed. I hope that our modded Wyvern here classifies as a good one. Let's find out. Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Come here, big boy! You want summon- oh, okay, we don't deal a whole lot of damage, though. How about lightning? Okay, lightning might be our best bet, but... As long as we outrun him... Who cares, baby? You want- okay, those things just fly in all directions. I was not anticipating that one. Oh, this is how you do a boss battle, baby. This is how you get it done! Get some of that lightning into you, big boy! What you gonna do about it? Nothing! Okay, we're good, we're good. Even your death worms aren't gonna help you up here, mate. Two can play the flying game. Takes two to tango, buddy. And today, oh, I came to tango. I came to tango. Oh, let's get all tangled up. <laughs> I can't even see what's happening. There's so much moving around. Come here, buddy. All right, we gotta, we gotta keep an eye on our stamina. That's definitely what we gotta do. And I also probably gotta go ahead and swallow a sedative at some stage as well. All right, that's gonna hit me. Uh, maybe one of them did. Anyways, can I just sit up here and lightning blast you? I can. Pah, don't even need to chase you, mate. Two can play the ranged game. Bring it on. All right, all right, all right, all right. False alarm. Oh, it didn't actually wipe him out like I thought it would. We should have brought so many more of them. That's not ideal. Am I taking damage? I feel like I am. Oh wait, no, 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 it did, it did wear him down. It's all good. It just took a little bit of time, that's all. All right, we're all good, baby. We's all good, we got this. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Get back here, buddy. You're the only thing that stands behind or between me and my tech replicator that I've been trying to get for weeks. Oh, is today the day we finally unlock the Engram? <laughs> it only took us like this long to work out how to do it, but this is a game changer if we manage to get it done. All right, swallow another one of these ones, boy. There we go. I think it, yeah, it just takes about 10 seconds to actually, um, if, like work all of, all of its effects. So it's all good. All right, this is juicy. This is a Jehosi. That's what I'm talking about. You know what? I don't even know why we're melee attacking it. It does it does nothing compared to what these big boys do. Come on, mate. Time to go to sleep. Give me that replicator. I came here for one thing and I ain't leaving without it. That is how it is done, baby. Oh, feels good, baby. Feels good. Oh. I just want to take a seat for a second. Just so we can sit here, marvel in our victory, and look around at this arena. I've never really uh, taken the opportunity to do so. Look at this giant skeleton. Like, what's that meant to be? In in so many of these arc maps, there's these giant skeletons, but they don't really explain, or maybe they do explain it. I've just never looked into it. But like, the size of this skeleton, this skeleton is like no 
arc dinosaur in existence unless it's like a titan but it wouldn't make much sense would it like, look at the size of the skull that's bigger than a giga it's bigger than all the bosses do we know what this is from i know ragnarok's got similar type of things and like it even looks like it's got a saddle over here that's ah well we're going home <laughs> we're going home all right finally at last <laughs> all right it's time to actually do this thing all right let's get these guys home are we gonna reach everybody we should be able to scrounge up everybody we got everybody we do i still can't walk into whatever's causing this imaginary blockade in our base but it don't really matter then does it uh man we've done it we've done it it's all that matters we've actually done it let me go and grab all of our stuff back ah oh, i've missed all of this it's so good to be able to throw it all back on. We get the Manticore boots. I didn't even know that was a thing. I thought, oh, I guess there's a full set of Manticore armor. I don't want that. We got we got cool extra cool Tron looking armor, dude. Pfft. I should keep that just in case, actually. Maybe we'll keep that. Pick it up. There we go. All right. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We've got a flag. We can work all this out another time. It's all good. Uh, but I think it's time we head over to the new base and... Um, we do what we do, baby. Let's do this thing. Ah, uh, still using the wrong teleporter though, aren't we? Of course we are. And I can't even get in through the front entrance of my new base because I haven't really worked that part out just yet. But it don't matter, it don't matter, it don't matter. If I open this guy up right, I should, we've got an extra 25 element here as well. We should be able, no, I have to learn it. Do I have to learn it? There it is. <gasps> we just can't craft it in here? Really? We can craft tech armor and a trough, but I can't craft it here. Okay. I might need to go and just take all of this with me. Where have I put all my metal? I feel like I did bring it across here. Um, let's just double check. Ingots. They're on our RG. Well, there are some on our RG. Maybe they're not here. Maybe they're over at the other base. Okay. We'll go and craft it over there instead then. Back to Miola Beach we go. Okay. So... Here is what you've all been waiting for, and I completely forgot that we've left our uh, table. What's the thing called? No. Uh, the S Plus table. Workshop? The workbench? What's the thing called? The S Plus one. Oh, man. How could I forget this? I can't believe you've done this. This one. Crafting station. That's the one I'm talking about. Ah. Oh, well. Here we go. Let's go and drop this guy straight back down where he came from. Get our element in there. Hopefully everything else I'm missing. How am I missing polymer? For real? Um, If I head over here real quick and just chuck some of these things in here. Right. And then sacrifice. Not a oh, we got some magic water though. But no polymer. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. We gotta go and kill something, I guess. Uh, what's the nearest thing that I... Uh, man, there's nothing nearby. I guess back to the new base we go. Uh, but you know what? I feel like in the way that we like rushed into this episode, I completely skipped over a very interesting uh, thing. I think a very interesting day that I was going to tell you guys about. I have had... A very chaotic day today. Um, in fact, I wasn't even sure if I was going to get a video out tonight. Unfortunately, as a result, we will only get one video out tonight, as opposed to the two that I was really, really hoping to record. Um, in case you haven't been able to tell, I've been trying to do two videos a week this week, but uh, today's the day that ends, because today, uh, Santi out of nowhere started barking, and I wasn't sure why. So I'll go out the front to have a look, and uh, there's a bunch of smoke. Oh, wonder what that is. Go into my backyard and have a look at the neighbor's fence. Um, the neighbor's house is on fire. So, <laughs> I run out the front into their front yard. All the neighbors are starting to run out as well. Everybody goes into panic mode. It's this big old, like, just crazy couple minutes. Jump on the phone, dial in triple zero. That's like our 911. Um, and, uh, oh, hello. Is that, a, is that what I think it is? That is what I think it is, isn't it? That's, that's, I don't have a, I don't have a spyglass. That's an Alpha X. What level is he? Hold on. Hold on. I know I'm interrupting the story. 
but it's for a good cause. I can't see what level he is. All right. We might need to remember this location. Alpha Rex. Fantastic. Uh, but yes. So jump on the jump on the on the on the phone to uh, the the fireys. They uh, they come out about five ten minutes later. Um, the house is is burnt to a crisp. The the whole roof, which is made of asbestos, which is this very horrible. Um, oh, it's a very very horrible ingredients that was used in building. It's it's made by a company called James Hardy, I think. Um, a lot of lawsuits based around it because they used to build houses out of this ingredient in Australia back in the day. Um, the thing is, in its dust form, if it's inhaled, it basically eats your lungs out. And you could be like all good for 20 years, but then in 20 years time, um, you basically, you, 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 you just get infected with all sorts of lung cancers and, and you die. I think it's called asbestosis, but um, it's actually how my, my grandfather died uh, when I was quite young. But um, yes, their entire roof and a lot of their house is built out of that ingredient. So we had to be super careful. I inhaled quite a bit of smoke as well because we, um, we had to go and get the neighbor who was inside the house at the time out of the house and she was quite reluctant to leave because i think she was trying to like round up her pets she had a lizard she had two dogs two cats she had a rabbit a lot of things we we had we, i didn't even realize i knew she had two dogs but i didn't know she had anything but that also why are you not letting me what are you talking about what do you mean you want another 85 polymer you've got it all right let's get the crystal i need 5,000 metal ingots let's just grab the lot Oh, it's probably going to be black pearls, isn't it? No, we got that as well. What am I missing? Nothing. We got it all. Hey, there we go. Replicator. You're mine at last. There we go. All right. This changes everything. But yeah, um, so we're all smashing on her windows, trying to get her out of the house. And she's just kind of like not answering. And then eventually, I don't know, I turned around and the door was open. Um, and she's there and there's a guy yelling like get out of there get out of the hair at that point the smoke was like really really thick and kind of like halfway down from the ceiling so it was like pretty pretty black and they could barely even see and she comes around with a big cage and one guy just rips it off of her um and that was the uh the rabbit so we, we, we went and grabbed that or someone grabbed that and ran it across the road um man i, I feel like i gotta tell the story now but we gotta place this <laughs> i'm like just interrupting my own story don't mind me all right, let's just get this bad boy in here. He looks like he fits quite well. We'll get back to the story in a second, but I want to make sure we get this placement perfect. There we go. All right. Okay. How far back can I situate this guy? Further, 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 further. About there. That's pretty good. That actually works out so perfect. Oh my God. We can even go a little bit further back maybe. I don't care if it sticks out the back. I'll never see it. It's all good. That's maybe a little bit too far. All right, there we go. Looking good. Oh, no, I rotated it. Let's just go with that. There we go. Tech Replicator is in the house. What a little home for it, too. Huh. All right, now i got to go and get my element. And we've based... Oh, it's unpowered as well. Oh, i got to power it. Oh, we can get a tech generator. Oh, I didn't even... Actually, apparently you can actually use this. Uh, as a regular generator. Apparently you can, if I pick up this wire. No, I did that. Oh man, that's okay. So apparently this, I just want to, I want to turn you off. In fact, I just want to pick this up. I was told maybe you don't need a wire for it. Let me just craft an outlet box. There we go. Bada bim, bada boom. Can I place this in here? Someone said that there's a little junction box you can place on this. I guess not. If I increase this to just 10, whatever, I don't care anymore. If I increase that to 10, does that power this or not? Oh, it does. It powers everything. Oh, I didn't think it did. Also, why are you showing your pulse range? I don't want to see that. Pulse ra generator range. Show generator range. High generator range. Still going. This happened earlier. This happened when I was actually doing the build. Ah, oh, well, this thing here is running now, so that's all that matters. There we go. It kind of clips with the rest of the base, but who cares? It looks awesome. Um, hey, okay, cool, fantastic. Hey, what are you going to do? Hey. <laughs> oh, man. 
But yeah, um, let's have a look at our tech stuff for a second. So we eventually get her to come out. Her two dogs, she's got a pug and a chihuahua. They run out. I managed to scoop up the pug, uh, which is always barking at Santi. It's literally the dog that lives next door that's always riling Santi up and barking at her. Um, but we managed to get that all sorted. Oh, do I, can I even get a transmitter or not? Oh, no. I can't craft the transmitter yet. What do I gotta kill to unlock the transmitter? It's right there though. It's right there. Ah, oh, dang. I just went and had a look at the Manticore wiki page and it didn't say nothing about a transmitter. So I don't know how to unlock that. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit further, I think. You know what happens now though, right? Now we gotta go ahead and transport like everything over to the new base that's going to be a lot of fun however i swear there was like an item at some point that transmits your storage from like from any access point around the world but maybe i'm wrong why are you here what are you doing i guess you can stay it won't do any harm i'm also going to go ahead and increase your crafting skill a whole lot uh, but yeah, so we eventually get her out of the house. I get a pug, and then I'm like, wow, I should probably get Santi. So I went and, like, grabbed the leash, latch it onto Santi, run across the road. At that point, the smoke is just piled all over the street. Um, thankfully, the neighbors from across the road that we'd never even spoken to before, they were like, yo, come here. Just chuck them in the backyard. It's all good. So I run out, like, into their backyard, throw Santi out there, throw this pug out there. I hope they got along. I have no idea. They end up with the rabbit over there as well. And then for the next, like, five or six hours, we went out inside of our house, and it's just, like, half an hour ago that I got power back on, and I'm like, sweet, time to record a video. <laughs> Oh, it's been a hectic day and I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm gonna call this one early um, So I can get this edited and up and running and out to you guys before it's too late But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little story from today It's uh, it's been an interesting day to say the least. I'm 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 glad glad I got to share the story with you guys I just feel for the neighbors who unfortunately right now have a pretty gutted house. I hope they have insurance I hope I hope I hope all is well over there. I think the whole st the whole house didn't burn down. Um, just one side of it. It looked like a bit of a storage. It's like they were kind of using the the room as like a storage. It was it's a bit of a hoarder's paradise type room. So I hope that was okay. Uh, or I hope I hope the rest of their stuff's okay. I, they won't be sleeping there tonight. But yeah, I don't know. Just yeah, it's just one of those things, I suppose. So keep uh, keep everybody who has these misfortunes in your thoughts i was just the neighbor next door who lost a couple hours of his time but to actually lose your house like that would be a, a horrible experience and you got you got to feel for anybody going through anything similar no matter if it's fire or floods or earthquakes or tornadoes or whatever else might be going on in their lives but thanks so much for watching guys I hope you did enjoy this one. We'll be back hopefully to our regular schedule tomorrow with a bit of Extinction Core and Val Guerrero. Um, but until then, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. Go on, give your mum a hug for me. <laughs> and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye for now.